Hello, I'm Ed Trilogy, and welcome back, of course, to Hunts of Vine 4. We are playing the Man the Guns DLC 1.6 version number. We're playing as Catholic Mexico. We've now gone Catholic. Ta-da! And we are very fascistic. Uh, so, with that, we're going to start focusing our attention on actually trying to get people up to speed. Uh, our military, especially considering it got kind of wrecked last time. China issues diplomatic protest. Chinese envoys have lodged a strong demand protest of our government regarding the presence of our attaches in the nation which they're currently missionary in military conflict with. They demand the immediate recall of our military mission. Uh, no. Our attaches will be sent where they please. Duh. We lose political power. Solid. it. We're getting good experience from it. That's all I care about. We really need to get our guns up. Free civilian factory. Um not build another military factory as well and then build a civilian factory here oh the United States really has up the number of its military units it's actually managed to cover most of the border now that's not a good sign yeah it really outnumbers us Guatemala Oof, that will last quite a while. What about declaring war through our tree? March southwards. Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. I think we'll go through the tree. I think it's time. We're going to sprint down the tree. Right, fuel refining, and assigned divisions. Uh, there are unassigned divisions over here as well. I think we'll grab them all and get them to train up. And then it's not 1939 yet, but we could grab this a little bit ahead of time. And it would allow us to get excavation. Mm. You know, we'll go advanced machine tools, increase our production efficiency cap. I think temporarily we might have to go improve work conditions as well. It does temporarily decrease our... Oh. German Reich formalizes anti-Soviet pact. Okay. Uh, it does uh, reduce our factory output, but increase our stability for a good, what, 25 weeks? That's a pretty huge bump. And we need it. Right. Spanish Civil War refugees. We get a bonus to industry and electronics. And free military factories. Right. You've nicely maxed out there. I think we will keep pushing a little bit. How much are we short on steel? 10. 
That's going to really cut in. I think at this point we do want to trade for that. And we'll trade from... Trade from Japan. Only trade for eight. We'll take the five cent knock to our production speed. Keep that civilian factory on hand. Improved inventory equipment. A new gun. Yeah, I think we've got to go with that. There is a focus we can do to get uh, increased speed. But that's down a different route, and I don't want to waste time going down that route. Spanish Civil War refugees. Veterans, we get popular, popularity of fascism, which will give us more political power per day, which is nice. Uh, and we get bonus to land doctrine and air doctrine and some political power. Okay, it's 1939 now, so it's start going to kick off. Um, we we'll want to grab the improved work conditions. Rural party popularity is also increasing our stability, which is nice. Because our popularity is pretty damn high. Fate of Czechoslovakia. German troops crossed into Bohemia and Moravia recently, ostensibly to restore order in the region in the wake of the collapse in Czechoslovakia and government. In Prague, the occupying forces announced the creation of an autonomous protectorate within the German Reich. Okay. You're all trained up. Move back in there. And you're going to be trained soon enough. Got the veterans. We can either go Hispanic Alliance or Realpolitik. Hmm. Realpolitik. Can create faction. Gain base stability, gain war support, gain political power. Hispanic Alliance. Realpolitik doesn't allow us to do this. March southwards requires interior defense plan or coastal defense plan. Interesting. So we could have gone this way to try and get Germany on the side and then go interior defense plan this way. Create a Synarchist Alliance. Uh, stability minus 5%. Ooh. No, no, they gain. They gain the Synarchist influence. Okay. I mean, I like I like this one more. It gives us bonuses. But Mexico is a state of her own, has interests divorced from the international struggle. We need to tread a careful path in turbulent times ahead. As opposed to our rules are descended from the peninsulas, colonists who brought civilization to the new world, Spain with our strong tradition of blah 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 blah. Okay. Going this route is quite tiring. 
If we want to get to war fast, we have to go Hispanic Alliance. I'd prefer to go Realpolitik. Okay, our fuel reserves are filling up quite rapidly. We're going to be full relatively soon. We're going to have to construct another fuel silo. In fact, I'll move up the list. Ah, uh, kept of industry might not be a bad... Oh, we can't get you. Financial expert then, I guess. Maybe in a war industrialist. Hmm. You know what? We might wait until we can get war economy. Ramp up that production. Okay. We're starting to get surplus of guns. I think we could probably introduce uh, another unit there to be built. And then I'm going to want to put you on the front line. And then we're going to take all of the reserve units effectively and we're going to dump them over there. I guess I'll have to give you a field marshal. Advanced machine tools and 100% bonus. We could grab something really hot, like advanced, like assembly production lines if we really cared about it. I think we'll go concentrate industry though. Save our precious research slots. Second Vienna Award. Following German arbitration that will see Novel Transylvania resort to Hungarian rule. The territory will be awarded to the Kingdom of Romania upon the conclusion of World War I, leading to a bitter dispute. Okay, we'll see how long that lasts. Hispanic Alliance. The Sinecas Pact. President Salvador Abascal of Mexico's Union Nacional has announced the formation of a new bloc of nations in the Western Hemisphere. The Sinecas Pact has declared the left-wing agitation of foreign influence alike will be defeated by the forging of a revanchist alliance of autocratic strongmen who will reorder the region to create a strong counterweight to the other factions. Okay. Could invite Brazil. I think we'll wait a little bit first because we can go really quickly for this war. El Salvador seeks to join the Sinecas Pact, Venezuela, Dominican Republic, Peru, okay. There are a few here who I'm tempted by, like Peru, Venezuela, let's look at you. Venezuela is a natural ally being fascist, and it will also stop them being dragged into a war over here by joining with Germany. Peru. You know what? I will take Peru. And I will take Venezuela. Ah. Uh. 
Um. We'll take you as well. And Dominican Republic. Yeah, okay, we'll take them all. Done. Oh, there's a treaty that I missed. Oh well. If you want, you can probably pause it and find that treaty. Was it the Treaty of Croatia? Oh, hi. That's a lot of, uh, a lot of events we got there. I'm gonna minimize that one. Ooh, click, uh, create an empty arm for requesting expeditionary forces. Hmm. We can request them from our friends, which is very, very tempting. Um, I still don't want a political advisor, really. Um, you know what? Sure. Finance expert, reduce the number of you. Sure. I think that puts us in a decent position. We'll add a empty. Must be done by others in the war. Okay. Oh, hello. I think I found a crash to a desktop bug. Right, looks like we hadn't actually lost anything. Which is nice. Okay. So. Coastal defense plan's almost done. We've got the Mendoza, so we have our new weapon. We're still working on trying to actually get enough, so... Uh, apologies. I like the fact it's got a max speed. <laughs> Turns out the infantry are limited in max speed by their gun. Which is... Uh, one way to put it. It suggests that they're actually self-propelled by their guns. And we will order eight more. Because we need eight more. Right. Research slot. Uh... What will get us ready for war? Already working on our land doctrine. Uh, ooh, improved artillery. 371 days as well. Coastal defense plan. And now is where we get to march southwards. We could invite Brazil and then just be like, sod it. We're going to do world domination. South America and Central America world domination. Hmm? Hmm? How'd you like that? Still improving work conditions for another 30 days. The Pene incident. American British gunboats were attacked by Japanese aircraft in separate actions today while evacuating Western civilians from the front line in the war between the Japan and China. Despite being clearly marked as an American vessel, the USS Panay was hit by two bombs and sunk, with three Americans and one Italian citizen killed, and I was wounded. In a separate attack on the HMS Ladybird, one British sailor was killed. Ooh. Japan has no limits. That's why we're studying them. Uh, oh, free swimming factory. Uh, I think we still need at least one more civilian factory. Yeah. 
Italy announces claim on Yugoslavian territory. These territories seem more Italian than Yugoslavian. This is where it's going to start kicking off pocket defense. And 100% bonus for deep battle. Defense in depth. Oh, so deep battles this side. Mass mobilizations this side. Defense in depth. Sure. We'll grab that. Did we spend XP on it? Didn't mean to. Mm. Concentrate industry. Uh, we'll grab construction. There's our march southwards. Hi. Declare war. Declare war. And immediately start marching. Poland joined the United Kingdom. Oh, in the Allies. Okay. Yes, please lend me your convoys. I mean, sure. And I think we'll continue it by pushing for Unify Central America. And now we will try and do this. Maybe we should wait until the end of the month. There we go. Order saved. No one's going to give me any divisions. I wonder if it's going to crash again. No! Hmm. That's not a CTD. Interesting. Yeah, you're just at one me right now. Hmm. I think there's nothing we can really change here. We'll get you because you'll decrease the cost of conscription laws in the future and we will want to do those at some point. Right. Guatemala. We're going to grab the capital. Done. That's that one. Take all states. And then front line. Do it. In fact, just charge straight in. United Kingdom disavows appeasement. In a public statement today, the new Prime Minister, Winston Churchill, announced the new government's attempt, intention to steer away from the course of appeasement their predecessors had loyally maintained. In no uncertain terms, Winston Churchill made it clear that the United Kingdom's aim is to put a halt to the march of tyranny wherever it may rear its ugly head. No. Don't do that. I like tyranny. Also, ooh. I think we're getting to the stage where we can safely say that starting to work on some support equipment might be worthwhile. We haven't researched it yet, but I think it's got to come at least somewhere. And free dockyards. There we go. And yes, we will need to get more steel sent over. to there. 
deploy you to there. Carry on. Improved artillery. And then we will grab... Hmm... Compute machine. Alright, we've got Unified Central America, so we've got claims on them now. We've got decisions to integrate people we conquer, which is nice. Liberate the Caribbean, integrate the Caribbean. We won't do that just yet. I think it's now time to start thinking about the stuff we missed up here. For instance, we could try and get Brazil to join. I think it's a good idea. Inviting Brazil in would be a great idea. They might not go for it at the moment, though, because of the issue which we face is, uh, yeah, we're at war. And they generally don't like joining people at war. So we'll try and finish the war quick. Full of Nanjing, capital of the Republic of China. Looks like we will get the end of the war, maybe. Hungary announces treaty of renounces the Treaty of Trianon, which greatly reduces the size and limits the strength of the military. So Hungary are going down that route. Uh, Swerj movement makes provincial elections. The British civil servants woke to rude shots this morning as a result of the recent privileged elections came in. It's now proved blah 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 blah. Uh, Indians are basically throwing off the yoke of colonialism. Zog submits to Italy. The Albanian government took a chunk. Politically? Okay. And Jumra claims Memel. Yes, maps are being made obsolete. I'm trying my best over here to do that as well, but... You're focusing on the Europeans. Is that the end of the war? Yes, it is. Take all and turn. Done. And we have oh, another unit for training. That's a lot of decisions. Invite Brazil. Uh, ooh. Prussian just cause. We can force the Yankees to choose between waging a bloody war against us or turning over control of the canal. You know what? Let's try and seize the Panama Canal. You don't do this, America. You're not ready. Well, we are getting in some fascism. Yeah, we'll start boosting it as well. Diplomatic protests. Uh, we're not going to recall our attaché. Okay. We'll declare our war.
Hmm, how can we hold them at bay best? If we need to hold them at bay best... Ah, maybe no. Um... You know what? Let's get ourselves some more naval bases. Three and more naval bases. We'll actually want to work on Navy at some point here. Yeah. We'll declare one Costa Rica as well. Nicaragua capitulated. Keep it up. And then we've got Panama. Take all states. And we are full of fuel. Okay. Uh, that's a little bit awkward. Right, now one of the things I've changed is that big ships, you can only have five ports working on them. Um, I'm not sure if I'm a massive fan of that change. The idea being that, oh, you're not meant to be able to build too many ships during the short course of time. It's it's not realistic. Well, there's certain amounts of realism, there's certain amounts of gameplay. Uh, instead, we'll get some destroyers in. And we'll leave them at the default for now. Because we don't have any naval experience to change that with. Uh, ooh, hello. Steel. Very well. We'll grab some more. And then I think we'll have to import some from the United States. Hopefully they'll like us more because of that. Even if we are going to nick that stuff. Um, I'll make that just one for now. Because we will want to work on a fuel silo. And then we can work on... Oh, wrong one. Oh, I didn't mean to use naval bases. I meant to go dockyards. Oh, well. Get a couple of dockyards down here. I don't mind having a naval base there. Right, seize Panama Canal. What happens? Oh, also that. Take all states. Unlocks decision. Oh, because so there's a decision attached to this. Okay. Operation Just Cause. Panama is at war with the... Uh, right, so yeah, we need to be at war with you. So declare war. Done. Oh, got defense and death. Mass mobilization, we can spend XP to get it faster. Yes, we will. This is our chance to go to War of America. Uh, hmm. I think we'll hold off a little bit. We could liberate the Caribbean. Push further south there. I think for now we'll have a quick look over here and grab... Get a naval dockyard, get a naval dockyard. The research slot here is too good. We'll go strike breaking first. Get 
Right. Operation Just Cause. Need to control Panama. Well, I guess you're going to prepare a naval invasion. Why, why can we not go in that? No divisions, zero transports. Okay, sure. Now, I would like to place someone on this. Why can I not place anyone on this? Don't give me military access. What have I missed? Why can we not do this? All right, just select one unit. No division zero transports. Do we not have the base? Is, is it something like we don't have the base technology for naval invasions? Wait, have they completely removed naval invasion technology? Oh, wow. It's here. Uh, okay. That's going to set back our assault quite a long way. Um, if I'd known that, okay, sure. Uh, I guess I'll switch out computing machine. We're going to be slightly delayed. Quite, quite a lot delayed. That sucks. Oh well, it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a, a little bit of a delay until we can actually go for Panama. But for now, I've been mean, at really soon. Hopefully, you enjoyed. If you have like, subscribe. Of course, do leave a comment down below. Until next time, stay shiny.